Bayshore, this is Ms. Tatum speaking for the first grade. The social justice standard for March is, I can feel good about myself without being mean or making other people feel bad. In first grade this month, we read books that highlight what it looks like to be proud of who you are and where you come from. Students had opportunities to share what they love about themselves, both inside and out. They also shared what makes them feel proud. Students also learned about prominent women and the ways in which they fought for respect and showcased their talents without being mean or making others feel bad. Thank you, Bayshore. Hi, this is Mr. Gerdes presenting the Students of the Month for March. These two students did artwork to um, help display and demonstrate that they know about people who helped stop unfairness and worked to make life better for many people. First, we have Hans, who did artwork about Martin Luther King, and you can see how Hans expressed himself. Nice work, Hans. The second student is Princess, who displayed her um, impression of Ruby Bridges and how Ruby Bridges helped stop unfairness and worked to make life better for many people. So congratulations, Princess and Hans, for doing amazing artwork demonstrating your understanding of people who stopped unfairness and worked to make life better for many people. Congratulations. Hi there, this is Miss Menino, and this month I chose Maria as our student of the month because she's confident, but she does not make a big deal about her skills. Maria knows not to brag when something good happens to her, and I think that she truly demonstrates this month's goal, which is to feel good about herself, but to not make other people feel bad when she does. So great work, Maria. All right. Hi, Bayshore family, and happy March. This month, we were looking for students that are confident, they like themselves, and they don't put other people down. So they can have confidence, but that doesn't mean that they try to make other people feel small. And this is very true for the two people that were nominated in both of my classes. So first off, in my morning class, we want to celebrate a student who is very patient, they're very polite, and most importantly, they're so empathetic, they're thinking of others. Congratulations to Maite Gonzalez. Awesome job, Maite. Next up in my afternoon class, another student with lots of empathy. They're always thinking about other people, um, thinking about what others what another person might be feeling or thinking. Um, there are students that frequently ask me how I'm doing. And so I'm so happy that other students took note of this kindness. Um, and this month we're recognizing in my PM class, Kalea de, de la Cruz. Congratulations, Kalea. Congratulations, Maite. Um, great job this month.
Hi, everybody. Welcome to the fourth grade Mrs. Kephart's Student of the Month for March. We had uh, two people, one from each class. Evan, from the afternoon, invites a lot of people into something when there's nothing to do. He's very inclusive. So definitely appreciates everyone for who they are. And the other one in the afternoon was Adriana. So Adriana, you are other student of the month because people said you're nice to everybody. So thank you, you two, for being great kids and being so helpful to each other and appreciating identity and lifting people up. Hey Bayshore, this is Mr. H from fifth grade. I am excited to announce our students of the month for the month, month of March from our morning class. Uh, uh, we have chosen Osue. Classmates say things such as him being really nice and caring about people. He would never make anyone feel bad. And he's very proud of who he is, as he should be. So again, congratulations to Osue from our AM class. From the afternoon class, Chloe with a K. Uh, a lot of people say things such as Chloe is kind to everybody. Chloe really uh, is a proud person, really encourages other people to be proud. She's supportive. So again, congratulations to Chloe with a K from our afternoon class. Uh, I wish I could choose every single student in this class. All of you are amazing. Congratulations again to Osue and Chloe. Hello, Bayshore School. In room 206 this month, there are two students who are nominated for Student of the Month. We spent this month talking about how in our read aloud book, there were lots of different characters with different identities and some characters who were able to celebrate both who they were and who others were and other characters who had a harder time with that. So building off of that story as an example of this, students nominated Giselle Vasquez and Nathan to be our students of the month. I have a few quotes to read for you. I picked Giselle because she is so kind and patient with herself and others. I picked her because she almost always has to go in a breakout room with other students that speak Spanish like her. And with her gift and talent, she's able to help others, spread kindness, and finish work with others. Great job, Giselle. Giselle is always nice to people. She always does nice things for others. She raises her hand and answers questions. Giselle doesn't judge me when I get answers wrong. If she disagrees with me, she will say so in a polite way. If we're thinking about different ways to solve problems or different things, we think about why they're different, but she's never mean about what I choose. I think it should be Giselle V because she's patient and is brave to do things that others don't want to. She's kind in breakout rooms and always helps anybody that asks. She translates and gets work done. Students notice that Giselle will often go above and beyond to help other Spanish speakers figure out what's going on and does a lot of translating help. And that she is proud and excited about who she is, but never lets that get in the way of celebrating who other people are. Nathan was nominated because he talks about his life in a way that doesn't make others feel bad. He can be himself without making, himself without making others feel bad. When he goes in a breakout room, he doesn't just turn off his camera and do nothing. He has his camera on and he shares his screen to do his work. Because he doesn't brag a lot and he doesn't talk a lot about himself, he doesn't make people feel sad. And he's nice and kind to everyone, always tries his best to make everyone happy and feel nice about themselves. If he knows something, he doesn't brag or anything, he just helps them. Students notice that Nathan is really humble, but also very confident. But he doesn't let that confidence get in the way of listening to other people's perspectives, celebrating other people's ideas. And while he is really proud of who he is, he never does so in a way that feels like bragging to others. And I think they really notice the way that Nathan balances 
being really proud and celebrating everyone else as well. Great job this month, Room 206. 